don't finish with that? Because if you haven't, I'm going to ask you out first and do that before I explain. Ah, Faturahman is confused. Okay, come on. Have you all finished with that? Yes. Yes. If you haven't, if you haven't, you have to go out from the class first and make sure you do that before entering. Yes, you have. Okay, I consider yes tick, because tick, you say nothing. <laughs> yes, that's the way. Uh, uh, your son is robotic with at, at me. Oh, really? Yeah. Maybe your internet connection. Uh, I don't think miss because the the other. People is still playing. Oh, okay. Now, what about now? Uh, it's it's good. Okay, so this is English. Okay, this is the relative clause. Okay, so oh, okay. So let's start doing the. Let's start discussing the questions. So we start from number one. Okay. So look at that beautifully carved, beautifully carved door of that house. Well, in fact, it is the house. Uh, first of all, I'm going to ask you. So how many relative clothes that you know so far? Five, I think. Okay. So let, let me let me write down here. Tell me whether you can. Okay. Uh, can you see my pen? Yes. Yeah. Okay, so number number one is who. Okay, Ooh. and okay. First of all, we are talking about people. P people. Okay, first of all, um, uh, first of all, there are so many. First of all, okay, uh, this is really first. Okay, uh, relative clause is a clause that stands as an adjective describing a noun. Okay, that's the definition. So we have noun, and then sometimes we have to describe the noun by having relative clause. The person who is sitting next to me. So who is sitting next to me is the relative clause, and the person is the noun. So relative clause functions to describe the noun. You got that? So that's why the relative clause always comes after noun. The person who is sitting next to me, again, who is sitting next to me is a relative clause and it describes the noun. In my sentence, the noun is a person. Okay? And then there are uh, relative clause is signed by having relative word or adjective word like you know who and then whom and then whose and then what else that that and then which okay which and then where okay we have who, whom, whose, which, where, and that. So for people, we can use who, whom, and whose. And for object, we can use which and where. That is quite, you know, this is quite different because it can be used for either people and also can be used for object. Okay, so let's move again. So now... Okay, now we're going to discuss the questions. I'm going to wait, wait, what happened with my wait? Yes, now you can see my screen. Not yet, Miss. Uh, yes, yes. yes, okay. So now we have this question again. Well, in fact, it is the house. So we have the house. I told you that relative clause described the noun. Now, the house, this is a noun. What kind of noun is that? It's an object, right? It's an object, not people. I mean, first of all, you have to decide whether this is person or object. And the house is an object. 
Correct. Okay. Uh huh. Correct. Correct. Then, what kind of object? Of object is that? It's a place. Okay. It's a place. Yeah. House is a place. So in this case, because this is a place, then we have to, we have to use. Where was where was I born? Yes. Where? Okay. Wait. Wait. I haven't finished yet. Uh, we have to say with where. So this is where. Okay, because this is a house. So I can say, well, in fact, it is the house where I only have this as the options. Where? But the problem is that I have was I born here. Where was I born? Honey, have you got a picture of you? No. Uh, could you please ask your dad to take a picture of you when you are? Honey? Yeah. Okay. Maybe. Okay, so let's start again. Sorry. <laughs> so it's my son. He is doing the PTS now, and he has to take a picture of him, like, doing the PTS thing. <laughs> so, okay. So we have this. Where? Okay. Yes, it's right. Where is the choice? But the problem is, where was I born? And this is, and this is, not okay yeah where because i was remember, born uh-huh because remember when you have relative clause it's not longer direct question so when was i born is a kind of question structure something something like i can ask you what is your name where are you so you know r is a kind of to be you put that between the relative word and the subject so it's a question but when it is not a question you cannot say that you have to say well it, well in fact it is the house where i was born so this is not okay then so i have to tell you right now that the witch that we discussed last time the witch that we discussed last time is quite common because which can be also used for places, but you have to combine this with prepositions. Okay, so today I'm going to discuss with you all that, that, okay, we will discuss the relative pronoun with sorry with prepositions and the relative pronoun relative pronoun with quantity expressions okay so relative pronoun can be combined with preposition you know something like which you can also put the preposition with which on which, in which, at which, about which, from which, without which. So it's a kind of preposition and you can combine that with a relative pronoun, okay, to make a sentence. So this is, this is another example. So we say, well, in fact, it is the house. Remember, which can be, you know, combined with relative clause. Here in this case, it uses in to say where I was born. So the answer for this is option C. So the rule is which can be combined with preposition, like you can use on which, in which, at which. Tentu saja preposition. Oh, of course, the preposition will be on, in, or at. Can, because you want to say where because you want to say where so well actually which can be combined with all preposition like you know about from without uh, for and so on whatever it is but in the case that you want to say where a place or a location then you have to combine that with on in or it because on in at is the preposition to say location or places. You got that? I got it. Miss. Oh, yes. Yeah. No, no. You have a question like Miss. Uh, when can I say on which 
when can I say in which and at which? Well, it depends on what kind of preposition you need for your sentence. This is something like, you know, I can say that, uh, this is another example. I can say that I know the book on which you put your pen. I have to yeah. say with pen because the pen is put on the book, not in the book. You got that? Here I have to use in because it is in the house. Okay. When can I say at? Yeah, when you need at. I remember the building at which we met for the first time. I remember the school at which we met for the first time. Because at is something you know, more specific than in is for a city. Like, I remember the city in which we meet for the first time. It's a city, so that's why I have to use in. But in the case that I have to use at, I'm going to use at which. So on, in, at, that is about, yeah, about uh, preposition. Which preposition you need for the, uh, for the sentence, then that's what you are going to use, okay? Now, we also have a question like, Miss, can I put uh, the preposition at the end? Because, you know, in some sentences, they put that at the end. This is an, ex an example. I'm going to clear the drawing first. Can I say, uh, well, in fact, it is the house which I was born in, in, for example. Can I say that? Yes, you can say that. So the rule is that, when you need preposition, of course, you have to put preposition. And when you have preposition, you have two places for the preposition. Whether you want to put that after the clause, after the relative clause, or you want to put that together with the relative word like what you have here. So here we have which, which is combined together with in. So you have, well, well, in fact, it's the house in which I was born. So it's clear that it is in which. The thing like, you know, you combine that together with the relative word. But in some other cases, you can also say, well, it in fact, it is the house which I was born in. And it is okay to say that. You have two options. Put that at the back or put that together with the relative word. So what's the difference in name? When you put that together with the relative word, like in which, so it sounds more formal. So it is more formal to put the preposition together with the relative word. Okay, so when you say, well, well, in fact, it is the house which I was born in, so it is less formal than that. Okay, so that's the explanation for number one. So if it is quite clear, it is going to be easy for us doing the other questions after this so let me move oh please ask me a question if something is unclear okay so let me just move first to the other yes so number two these tourists blah 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 are japanese were among the crowd participating in the dang dudes in the dang dut dance so what is the answer for this what is the sweet uh -huh. Okay, yes. So oh. here, okay. Number one, we learn that the preposition can be combined together with the relative word. Number two, this case, we can also put quantity expression with the relative clause, quantity expressions. You know, quantity, the expression saying how much or how many, like uh, some, many, much, view, all they are called quantity expressions okay yeah well they are expressing quantity so that's why quantity expressions and you can use those expressions with the relative clause okay and if you do so then you have to put that uh, before off so this is an this is a, a one example here in this case the answer will be these tourists, many of whom are Japanese, many of whom are Japanese, were among the crowd participating in the Dangdut dance. 
Okay, so many of whom. So you have the quantity. You have 30 questions, 28 more questions to go then. Okay, so let me continue. So this is number three. Right now, participants of the state university entrance test, blah, 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 are high school graduate from Java are competing for a limited number of seats. So we, uh, what is the answer for this? Which must of them? Uh -huh. Now I told you, I told you, when you use quantity expressions, that's the rule, then you have to put the quantity expression first, most, and then you're going to put off, and then you have to decide, okay, this is participants, and participants is people. Then you're going to use? Most of whom? Whom? Yes. Oh. Is, is that clear? Clear enough, please. Okay, you will not say which most of them because it's going to be complicated for native speaker if you say which most of them, okay? So grammatically, remember when you use quantity expressions, so you're going to use the quantity expression first and then you're going to use of and then you're going to use whether it's whom or which. Oh yeah, by the way, the you, you can use quantity expression with whom or which for the things, yeah? Okay, for the objects. Oh, well, that can be used even for people, can be used even for objects, but that can cannot be used together with the relative, with the quantity expressions. You cannot say uh, uh, most of that, uh, no, but you have to say most of which for, for people, and you have to say most of whom for, uh, for objects, and you have to say most of whom for people, that's it. Okay, but for the normal uh, relative clause, yes, that can be used for both people and object. Okay, so that is number three. So I, yeah, well, with the same explanation, I believe that you have already got the idea. Let me just move. And please, if you don't understand, ask me a question, okay? So because you got your daily test next week. So uh, this is quite clear now. Okay, so what is the, uh, what is the, the answer for this? So I want to listen to girls, honey, 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 girls, girls. Okay, come on, speak up, girls. Do I have any girl in this class? <laughs> come on. Oh, it's a doctor, Andin. Where is Andin? Yes. Noor, come on, Noor. Okay, it's a doctor. What is your answer for this? I think my answer is who. Who, honey? This? Yeah. Okay, we will analyze. Don't worry. Okay. So first of all, we have to see this one. Okay, it's a doctor. So it's people. So maybe the choice is who and then whom and then whose. Because this is people. Oh, and that maybe. <laughs> okay. But then who is for subject? Whom is for the object? Whose is for possessive pronoun? Okay. Possessive pronoun. So uh, okay, then we have specialization. Specialization is a kind of noun, honey. So it's a noun. It's a noun. Noun is an is a thing. It is an object that can be owned. And for this kind of case, because this is a noun, and noun is something that you can have, so you need possessive pronoun whose as the relative clause. So I have to say. Oh, it's a doctor whose specialization. Why noun with possessive pronoun, miss? Yes, just like when you are saying, hi, this is my book. You can only use possessive pronoun with noun because this is possessive pronoun. You cannot say, my go to Jakarta. No, it's wrong because go is a verb, not a noun. You cannot say my go. If you want to say that, even you have to put verb in, becoming gerund. So this verb will be a gerund. So you say my going to Jakarta is awesome. You got what I mean? So because this is a noun, so something that you can feel here is a possessive pronoun. So it's who's. So it's a doctor whose specialization, maybe some of you will have a question like, Miss, can I use who in this case? Yes, but you have to change this. 
Oh, it's a doc. It's a doctor who specializes in children. For example, it is a doctor who specializes in children. So it becomes a verb. You know, the the predicate is then a verb to make this suitable to be put this who. So for 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 having who here, we have to change this into verb. You get that? Yeah, yeah, miss. So so it's the different. So can I uh, can I use that? Yes. If you can use who, then you can use that. Oh, it's a doctor that specializes in children. So it's okay to say that. Okay. But in this case, you don't have specializes here, but you have specialization, which is a noun. Then that's why you have to put was. Okay. So yes, Nur, is that clear, Nur? Oh yes, Miss. Is it clear? Yes. I do. I do hope that you are not confused with that. Okay, so let let me just move. <laughs> ah, this is something that you have already learned. So now I'm not going to explain anymore. Now I'm asking others. Okay. Uh, beside Nur, I have Andin. I guess Andin. Hi, Andin. Huh? Ah, uh, Andin. 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 Are you saying something? Yes. <laughs> okay. Now I'm afraid you didn't listen. Okay. Uh, I forget my answer, but oh, I no, no, you don't. You don't have to say your answer because you have already got the explanation from me. So it's okay to change. It's okay to change oh. your answer by your knowledge right now because I have already explained this in number one. You have that? Got that? In which? Yes. Oh my, so smart. Yes. Okay. Thank you, Andin. Yes, that's right. So it is in which. Why not in where, Miss? Because if you want to put where, you don't have to put in. Okay? Okay? Okay, okay. so let me move. Thank okay, you, Andin. Nice. So I don't need to explain, yeah, because, because it is quite clear. Okay, next. Who is Ismail Marzuki? I'm going to ask Alim. Alim. Well, yeah. he's the composer. And then... Of whom? Ah, Miss Neng, we are confused between of whom, whom, okay, yes, uh, wait, no, 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 the answer is home, not of whom, <laughs> no, no, I mean, I mean, the answer is this, not this, okay, why, okay, let me explain, first of all, uh, okay, well, yes, this is composer, Com composer is a person, so that you have choices who you have choices whom and then you have choices whose and if you can use who it means that you can also use that okay this is people consider people has been the subject and then consider is the verb so of course not who and not that because who and that stand as subject and this clause has already got the subject the subject is people so we don't it's impossible to use who or that so our choice is who's and whom and of course not because not who's definitely because here we don't have any noun so the choice is whom but then we have oh my god we have of whom should we say whom or of whom well let's analyze this word consider okay this is quite tricky because sometimes we make mistakes in transferring the native language our bahasa to english something like aku cinta padamu in bahasa we have that preposition pada for cinta but in english we don't have that preposition we, for love we have to say i love you without to so i cannot say i love to you because love in english exists without preposition but and then in different word we say dengarkan uh, uh, dengarkan aku so you you go without preposition in bahasa dengar but if you use listen in english you have to use to as the preposition so you, so you say listen to me can i say listen me no it's wrong but you can say hear me if you want to use hear but if you have you have to say listen to me because listen has preposition to you got that? So you have to consider this word. Okay, the word is the same. Consider whether it has preposition or not. So the question is, 
I consider you or I consider to you or I consider of you. Ah, what is the answer? Hmm? So, ah, nothing. So you don't have any proposition for consider, right? Yes. So when you don't have any preposition for consider, then you have to go with whom, not with of whom. That's it. Is it clear? I I will make yes. I will I will make uh, another example. I like the. Can you can you see my notes? Of course. Yeah, Miss. Okay. Yeah, because because yesterday I did it, and some students say, Miss Nay, I couldn't, I couldn't see the notes, and I just remember that I got three people joining Zoom yesterday at the same time, so maybe my internet connection was unstable. So okay, I like the person whom, yeah, no, 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 you are listening to. So look at this. Ah, sorry. I like the person whom you are listening to. So this is a sentence. I can say I like the person whom you are listening to. Why I have to use to? Because it's listen. Okay, I'm going to change. Maybe you are talking to. Okay, talk with to. And so that's why I have to use to here. So can I say, can I, can I put the to here? Yes, and it is more formal. I like the person to whom you are talking. So you have that two options. You can say, I like the person to whom you are talking. And you can also say, I like the person whom you are talking to. And when you use the first one, then it is more formal. Okay. But when I say, I like the person whom you love. Because love never used preposition. So you have to say, you have to say, I love you, not I love to you, you know, something like that. So so when when should I use preposition? It depends on your verb, whether your verb takes a preposition in English or it doesn't take any preposition in English. And sometimes it okay. I like the the book to whom you give. Uh, I like the book uh, uh, um. for whom you I like the book for whom you give. No 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 it's become confusing. What is the sentence? Yeah. Uh, okay. Oh, no no the book is not for whom. Uh, I like the the person for whom give you book. No, 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 for whom you give. Oh. Get it? So I get it. Said this. Yeah. I like the person for whom you give the book. So for whom here refers to you give the book for somebody. So somebody. Okay. For somebody means it is still an object. Because in English, there are two kinds of object, honey. The direct object, the indirect object. So I give a book for you. So book. I give a book for you. So the book is the direct object. For you is the indirect object. So there are two objects on that sentence. So I like the person for whom is the indirect object. You give the book is this direct object. So here, why we have to use whom? Because it still stands as the object. So that's why I have to use whom. Why do I need for? Because you know you give to somebody. Because you need that proposition to say that you give the book to somebody. Okay, because without having for in the sentence, it seems that you give people not only the book, but you get you give two things: the pe the pe the people and the book. But and this is oh, this is wrong. Yeah, for whom you give the book? Yeah, the person itself. Okay, so that, that that's what I mean. Is it clear? So the question is, when will you need preposition in a relative clause? If your sentence needs to. If you don't need the, the preposition, then you don't have to put preposition with the relative word. OK. Is that clear? Alim, OK? OK. Yes. OK. So let me go. So clear the drawing first. OK, please. Now, Farudin, please answer the question, Farudin. Choose. Mm, 
Look at this, patience and support. Those here, it must be people, right? Not mm -hmm. a thing, but it is people. And then we have uh, patience and support here. They are noun. So? Mm -hmm. hmm? uh, of which? Uh, uh, no. No. Mm -hmm. You have patience and support. Patience is a noun. Support is also a noun. And then those, it must refer to people. So the choice, when you have people, who's? the choice, yes. Who's? Yes, whose, it's whose. To those whose patience and support. Yes, that's right. So remember, when you talk about people, you have like four options, whether you have to choose who, whom, whose, or that. And that that is replacing who, right? Okay, so here in this case, because you have the noun, you have the patience and support, then you have who's. Okay, so let's continue. Next. Uh, Awad. Yes, miss. <coughs> mm -hmm. um, this yeah. number, Awad. Whom? Mm. Remember, which one is the subject? This is the latest news. So it is about the news, honey. Look at this. Oh. This is the latest news about the kidnapping. Ini, this is just about, about this. But they are talking about the news. Here. This is the latest news about the kidnapping of the richest businessman. But this is not about the businessman. It is a, a news. Oh, which, yeah. Ah, yeah, so it's which. So be careful with that, okay? okay. Uh huh. Okay, read all uh, sentences. So, yes, let me continue. Next, Fatima. Hi, Fatima. She go to the toilet, I think. No, oh, okay. Are you sure? Yeah, she uh, Rasandria Farel. Farel. Yes. <laughs> Okay, so I have already explained this. Okay, make me make me happy, Farel. Come on. <laughs> the windows of the old. Okay, I'll, I'm giving you a clue. It's the windows of the old building. So it talks about windows. Windows are object. Okay. It's and what's it, with most of them are broken. Mm, 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 mm. I told you if you want to use quantity expressions, how? What is the structure if you want to use quantity expression? So you use quantity that, expression. That no, leads. you no, you use quantity expression first and then of and then you use the relative word. The relative word for this, because it's a thing, it's an object. So you're going to put you're going to put eh, sorry, or you're going to put which here. Okay, because it's a thing and it's for an object, but you have to put the quantity expression here. Oh, and the quantity expression is, ah, see? So you have most of which are broken. So you have the option A. Yes, correct. Okay, so let me continue. So remember, so that's the rule. If you want to use quantity expressions, Miss Neng, so how, how is it different? So it's different, honey. So when I say the windows of the old building on Canary Street, uh, most of which are broken. Okay. Uh, the windows of the old building on Canary Street, which are broken, need fixing. When I say that, it means that all windows of the old building are broken. But when I say the windows of the old building on, on Canary Street, most of which are broken, need fixing. It means that not all windows, but most of them are broken. So like I told you earlier that, yeah, it's quite different when you use quantity expressions and without quantity expressions, because when you use quantity expressions, that it, it makes the sentence have different meaning. 
So when will you use quantity expression? If you need to. So it depends on what, what you are going to say. Okay. So next, let me continue. Sydney. Okay. Uh, then Norwidi. Sydney. Blah, blah, blah. Is more than three and a half million. Is. Well, actually, Sydney is the largest city. So, so here, Sydney and Sydney is a place. Sydney is an object. So, Norwidi, Sydney is an object. Kalau object, we, where it's quite impossible to choose whom. We won't use whom. And then... Huh? That the population? Are you sure? Yes. Oh, yeah, because this is... Uh, no, because this is... This is non non uh this is non defining non defining relative clause with comma, like this is comma right? So so we will we will not use uh that for this case. And then the population of which? Yes, the population of which. Why we are not going to use uh that? Yes, if it is non defining. So for non defining. Uh, relative clause, then you will not use that. Okay, you have to you, using which is okay, like Sydney, comma, which is more than three and a half. Uh, okay, well, it's okay, but then you want to say something about you know population, you want to put that population word in this case, so that's why you put the population of which. Okay, so let me continue. Next, ah, this is quite clear. Bintang Waluya. Students, blah, 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 will be awarded a scholarship. So students, hello, Bintang, are you here with me? Yes. Yes. Ah, now you choose. Students, blah, 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 will be awarded a scholarship. So you have students. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. You have that. Ah, hey. Yes, students who passed with excellent grade. This is quite clear. Yeah, okay. This is just the just the common relative clause you got so far. So yes, next the yellow card. Blah blah blah. Al yeah. Yellow card is an object. It's an object. And probably you need a relative clause. So you say. Uh I think Alia have some trouble with Wi-Fi miss because oh, okay the then cerah yeah. then 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 cerah then cerah hi are you here with me cerah yes I think cerah is in the toilet she tell me are you sure when everyone is not here you say that they are in the toilet no but cerah tell me uh, if you call her please tell miss okay where are you right now uh, who are you Andin, Andin, then you answer the questions to them. Andin, okay. Ah, uh. <laughs> yeah. Well, this is the yellow card. Yellow card is an object, and probably you need a preposition here. So if you have preposition, then you have to say you will probably need a preposition here. You know, the preposition is without. And remember, if you if you need preposition. Mm -hmm, Without which one cannot. Yes, without which. So you're going to say like the yellow card without which one cannot enter the factory is only issued for employees. Okay. So that's it. So remember, if you need preposition, then you have, you will uh, you will combine the. Uh, the preposition with the relative word. So you say without which. Miss Nang, can I put without at the end like this? Yes, you can. But still, you have to put which here. So you say the yellow card which one cannot enter the factory without. So that's it. Is only easy for employees. So you have two options. You put that at the back like this or you put that together with uh, the relative word. But still, you need which. Okay, so that's all. Let me go to another okay this is quite easy 
So I hope Tasha can help me with this. This is the plus. Hi, Tasha. Yeah. This is the plus. It's the plus. So this is the clue. It's a plus. So if you have a plus, you can put. I think on which are rich. <laughs> no, no, it's a plus. Honey. This is the plus. Ah. It, it's quite simple, honey. It's the place. So if it is the place, where? You put where? To replace where? <laughs> yes, to replace where you can put which, but with preposition in, on, or at. Tapi on is impossible. Why? Because the, the Dutch, uh, uh, I mean, Pangeran di Ponogoro will not live on one place but he will live in one place so it's quite different between in and on okay so in which is okay in which is okay here but we don't have any in which so we have where the simple one so we use where okay uh, pardon miss can you repeat about the different in which and on which on is about position honey on you know on Oh, yeah, okay, so this is the book, right? And then the pen is here. So I say, this is the book on which you put your pen. Okay. You got that? I get it. Huh? Yeah, so it's about location. You say mm -hmm. on which when the position of the plus is just on one object. But to say as a plus, to live in, you know, this is a plus that Pangeran Diponogoro stayed in lived in so it is impossible to put on okay you know what i mean we live uh, in the house not we live on the house right okay okay i, I get it uh -huh. i get it okay yeah so so it's impossible to use on which then here but we can use in which but we don't have this in which options so the one we have is just where then we choose where so where is quite simple honey so like for saying location you have where but if you don't have where you probably uh, think of some options which combining with which 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 is combined with uh, prepositions whether it is on or in or at but but then you have to see the location first whether it is on whether it is in or that it is at okay but the simple one is where when you have place or location you go with where okay that's what I'm trying to say. Where, yeah, not in where, because in where is wrong then. Okay? Yes? Clear? Okay? Clear. Okay, next. Nah, ini. The book, uh -huh. who? Azai now, Azai. Hi, Azai. Azai, okay, yes. Azai, what pictures uh, on your profile? Is it, is it a, is it, is it it's taken from a movie, I guess. Uh, I'm sorry, Miss. I uh, no. Oh no no, it's it is Tasha. No no, I'm, I'm mistakenly see the pictures. Okay, next. Uh, the book, blah 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 blah. Okay, yes, I say this. <coughs> these things. I think maybe a. Yes, oh, correct. Course. From which? What? Why we have to use from? Miss Neng, because because the book, okay? yeah, because the two chapters are taken from the book. So the 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 statement would be like the these two chapters are taken from the book. So which refers to the book, right? Okay. Yes, yes. Yes. Let's continue. Thank you, Azai. Next, okay, the me. victims of the flood. Blah 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 blah. Nadia. Maria S. Yes, the victims of the flood. Here. Um. Uh, mm. It's subject, right? Mm. It's a person. Is a person? I think whom. Okay, but you have to see whether probably they need a proposition or not. Yes, the victims are no, people. Yeah, the uh, victims are people. Yes, okay. Okay, but the problem here, they have home here, they have home here, they have host for people too. Why do you choose home? Um, 
And now we're going to read the sentence first. So could you read the sentence? The, the sentence. victims of the of flood. The... Mm -hmm. And then and here. Then we have collected money and clothes are now housed in barracks outside the town. Yes. So are you sure whom? Uh, wait. Uh, for whom? Yes. Because we have collected money and clothes for the victims, right? Oh, yeah. Remember, remember, these home things, these who things, they are part of the relative clause. So what I'm trying to say, subject, object, and things like that, depending on which relative clause. This is what I mean. The person who, uh, the person whom I love. So whom I love is one relative clause. So whom becomes the object of this relative clause. That's what I mean. So that's why we use whom because it becomes the object of relative clause. Okay, and then who love me? The person who love me. So who love me? I have to use who because who becomes the subject of the relative clause. You know what I mean? So you have to see the relative clause itself, whether it becomes the subject of the, that relative clause or it becomes the object of that relative clause. Okay? But this thing, yes, it explains about a noun here. Okay. When a noun is person, the options are only who, whom, and then whose, but you have to see first here whether it's becoming the subject or it is becoming the object or it is a noun here. You got that? Okay. Yes, That's the way you analyze that. Okay, okay. So let me move. Let me continue. I met Dr. Sitorus last week. Okay, this thing, uh, I'm a little bit fast. I'm afraid our time is not enough. So I'm going to choose giving. Okay. Why? Because here we have who give sebenarnya. So uh, you mean the man who give. So it's who give. This is subject, you know, who give, this is subject, right? So who? So that's why I told you last week, if you want to change this, uh, if you want to shorten this part of the relative clause, then if it is subject, you have to put verb. So this is, the, this is just the rule. So you say giving. You mean the man giving you the letter of recommendations. Okay, so that's it. And then, so, so you have two options. If you want to make it, if you want to make your relative clause shorten, you have the option whether you want to put verb E or you want to put verb 3. If it is uh, passive, then you put verb 3. And if it is subject, then you have to put verb E. So that's it. So let me continue. So we have, you have, we have here, holding posters with, oh, okay. Holding posters with various messages. Holding posters mean, so holding posters mean while they are holding. Ah, okay, I want to say something about this. So I want to say that this kind of structure, this kind of sentence structure, they have, uh, they have two parts here. Ini ada main clause-nya. Main clause-nya adalah the factory workers are claiming better working conditions. So here we have the... Hi. What happened with this? Okay. Wait, wait. Ini kenapa ya? Well. Mm. Why is moving? Why my screen is moving? Oh my... Okay, okay, okay. I, I want to say about this. So, oh my, okay. Uh, okay, this. I want to say about this. So, holding posters here should be something should be done also by the person in the main clause. So, the factory workers. So, we recognize this kind of structure in English. And most university entrance tests have this kind of structure questions, okay, in, on their test. So they have like holding posters with various messages for the board, comma, and then the factory workers or something. And then when when we say that, we have two options, whether something with verb ing at the beginning or verb three. Okay. 
and it depends on on the subject at the main clause. Look at this. The factory workers are the subject. Kira-kira the factory workers in the sentence they are holding with verb ing atau hold. Hold means di, right? Dipegang. Okay. Or holding, memegang. Because this is something that is done by this, so it is holding, active then. So, holding. And it means it is they are doing it. So, while they are holding. So, this beginning, we only have two choices. Whether verb 3, passive, and then verb ing, active. We're going to see the example later in the next questions. Don't worry. Nah, this is another one. So, look at this. Blah, 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 that her mother was taken to the hospital. When she came home from school, she dropped her bag. So, we have she dropped her bag. So, she here, kira-kira, knowing or noun. Noun means diketahui or mengetahui, knowing. Uh, being noun sama aja dengan this. So, what is the answer? Knowing, mengetahui knowing. or diketahui. Knowing, yes, because she knows something, so that's why she dropped her bag and burst into, okay, something like that. You got that? So, there are only two choices, honey, at the beginning here, whether you want to put verb 3 or verb ing. Verb ing when it is, you know, doing something, subject, and then verb 3 when it is passive. Here in this case, she here, know something so it's knowing okay so let me move here ah another questions so this blah 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 for five years i feel well qualified so this is i so berarti si i ini kira-kira what is that having work yes having work good okay thank you next Trying to smuggle drugs into the country. Look at this. This is smuggle. Trying to smuggle the criminals. Okay, kira-kira trying to smuggle drugs means this, yeah? When? Yes, okay. Let me continue. Having finished their exam. Nah, this is the question. Having finished their exam. <coughs> So the subject here is something, uh, somebody who have to do this. So having finished that exam, is it the library? No. Uh, it's D. Yes, it's D, the students. Thank you. So you have already understand this part then. Having finished their exam, the students must return the books to the library. Yes. Okay, let me let me continue. Not earning enough to support her children after his husband's death. So this is not earning. Not earning enough. So not earning enough. So who is not earning enough? A is woman it the children? Decided. No, yes. a woman. Oh my God, you have already understand this. Yes. So the subject here um, is something. The subject here is somebody who has to do this. Not earning enough. So who is not earning enough? The children know not earning enough to support her children after his husband's death. The woman. So the subject here. Is some is the same person here? That's what I'm trying to say. Okay. Okay. The subject here is okay, miss. Some, uh, is the same subject here. So that's it. So next, who was released from prison in Beijing? Wei Jing Sheng. Is it the same the, the right pronunciation? I don't know. So Wei Wei Jing Sheng, yeah. Who's <laughs> Okay, so, I'm not Chinese, uh, Miss. Uh, okay, blah blah blah. Political opponent. Wei Jing Seng. Who is leader? Uh, Who is a leader? Political opponent. Eh, oh, no, no, no. Eh. A leading. Leading. A leading. Yeah, leading. a leading, a leading, a leading, waging seng, comma, a leading political opponent. Kenapa enggak waging seng is the leading political opponent because we have comma. Comma, here. yeah. Yes, okay. So this is not a sentence, that's what I mean. It is just a, a kind of, you know, the short, call, uh, the short phrase, not a sentence. Next, the manager was uh, frustrated when he learned of the 
Nah, of the blah 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 result. So because this is result, is it disappointed result or disappointing result? Disappointed. Oh, disappointed results or disappointing result? Disappointing. Ah, disappointing result. Yes. Why? Because disappointed means you feel that like I feel disappointed. So something that you feel. So I hear feel something. I feel disappointed. So it is disappointed. But disappointing means I feel disappoint. I, I I am disappointing. It means somebody else who feel disappointed because of you. You know what I mean? So don't say I'm boring. Don't ever never say I'm boring, yeah. Because when you say you are boring, then someone else who feel bored because of you. But well, except yes, if you are boring, <laughs> so you can say that. You know what I mean? So you have to say I'm bored. I'm bored because of this boring pandemic situations. Because pandemic situations is boring. Okay. You know, you you kind of understanding the difference, right? Okay. Yes. So let me let me move. Having been defeated three times in a row, the boxer decided to give up fighting. So having been defeated three times in a row means. So the sentence means. Terkalahkan tiga kali berturut-turut. Hmm, hmm, terkalahkan. Hmm. So having been defeated, setelah kalah tiga kali in a row, the boxer decided to give up fighting. So it means. When he B, decided B. to do, uh, B, he decided, yes, correct. Oh. So he decided oh. to give up firing after he had been defeated three times in a row. So that's the meaning of that sentence. Oh, thank you. So, yes. Okay, let me continue. Oh, mine. Oh, mine. Okay, yes. The work, blah, 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 computers. Hey, hey, oh, okay. Yes, the work blah 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 computers requires well trained personals. So this sentence it's clear that that it has this requires as a verb. So here is a part of relative clause because it is a part of relative clause. So it is something that is which involve which involve berarti subject. So we have to say involving. So the work involving computers. Requires well trained personnel. Okay, so involving because this is subject. So this is like the one I explained to you last time. If you want to shorten one relative clause, it depends whether it is becoming subject or it is in passive. If it is in subject, you go with verb ing. Okay, when it is in passive, then you just put verb three. You know, stands alone. Okay, so that's it. Let me. Uh, painted at the beginning of, of the 19th century so at the 19th century so it's painted kira -kira yang painted which yeah. one is that here is the it the artist. museum are you sure the artist is painted painted artinya di uh, no, no, no. <laughs> no. Oh, the, the, so the painting the painting yeah, yeah. Ah, the painting was very valuable yes that's it <laughs> yes not the artist you cannot the artist is not painted they are painting. Now, nah, this one, Amanda. Accepted. Bah, bah, bah. Accepted. Yes, correct. Yes, correct. Okay. Yes, correct. And then the young mother cautiously tiptoed into the bedroom in order to wake up the ah, sleeping children. Okay, this is, this is quite clear, I guess. Sleeping children, okay? And then running down the stairs... Running down the stairs, she slipped and broke her legs. In other words, running here means while she were she was running down. So it's A. Or it, with, I have already explained to you that part. Oh, and that's the last. Hooray. Hooray. That's the last of the questions. I, I, I don't know. I think I'm over time. Today. Yeah. Uh... Yeah, sorry. I'm so sorry for that. I hope that you still have time for doing the Arabic things. So I'm so sorry for being over time today. But I am really catching up next week. So next week we're going to have the daily test. And I have to make sure that you are able to do it. So um, I'm recording this. If you want to get the recording, I'm going to give it to you. The link. Okay? Yeah. Uh, yeah miss. 
I, I hopefully I, so, I have some time to upload, but but I I don't make it live right now, so I have uploaded it first on YouTube so that you can check. Okay, so that's all for today. Thank you for coming. Oh my God, I got only twenty students at the end. I don't know what I don't know where the other 